And just to end the show tonight, I hope you will indulge me for just a hot minute, personal minute. No matter how you feel about today's January 6th hearings, there is something bigger that all of us have to wrestle with. How much do you love where you live? How much do you love it here? How much do you love this country? If you were born here, congratulations. You are one of the luckiest people in the world. You did not have to lift a finger to get here. But if you're like me, um, it was a goal to come here, to stay here, and then to become an American citizen. And it took a lot of work. And I really, really wanted it. And two American husbands, two American children, and 27 years, and I have never looked back. But today, watching the last of the January 6th hearings into how and why an angry mob that was hoodwinked into believing that our prized election system here somehow didn't work. I actually was almost brought to tears over that because it did work. Follow the facts, not Facebook. Follow the courts, not TikTok. Those Americans on January 6th were lied to and they did something that likely 10 years ago they would never have dreamed of doing something that we typically see in other countries. You know, those, those countries on the news that really don't seem to have it together like we do? Those people went outside the system and they got violent to get their way. And it almost worked. Almost. If you don't like the way your leaders are leading you, run for office yourself. Get out the vote. Campaign for somebody else. Do it the way our founding fathers asked us to because this place is great and trust me i have been to almost 50 other countries around the world and there is no comparison but if you stay in your angry bubble your left bubble or your right bubble you are driving a wedge into dangerous cracks that are in this country frankly they can still be repaired just consider the closing remarks of one Liz Cheney, Congresswoman, who as a staunch Republican, whose dad was vice president, decided that principle was more important than party or presidential fealty. And I get it, I know politics is a team sport, but sometimes players cheat. And for the most part, we don't stand for that on the field or on the hill. And Liz Cheney did not. Regardless of what you think the best direction for this country is, the framework we have <laughs> seems to have done the trick so far. And it's kept us, you know, more than intact. I'm going to leave it to the Congresswoman, Ms. Cheney, who said it much better than I ever could. So as we watch the evidence today, please consider where our nation is in its history. Consider whether we can survive for another 246 years. Most people in most places on earth have not been free. America is an exception. And America continues only because we bind ourselves to our founders' principles, to our Constitution. We recognize that some principles must be beyond politics, inviolate, and more important than any single American who has ever lived. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back. That's what you call a mic drop. Thanks, Liz Cheney. And thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you again tomorrow night. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.